Hello, this is Adam, the car seat tech with Infant Toddler Youth and the Pump Station to Nurturey. And we're going to show you on this Maxi Cozy Miko 30 infant car seat how to put your baby in the chair. Now, originally, this car seat does come with an infant headrest. And the Maxi Cozy manual says as long as the headrest does not cover the baby's face, you can use it. And when the baby gets bigger, you can just go ahead and remove it. So there is no weight limit on that infant headrest. Now there's two adjustments you need to know how to make. The first one is how to loosen and tighten the straps. That is controlled at the front of the car seat here. When you wanna loosen, you're gonna find the opening in the fabric and right inside the opening, you're gonna see a gray button. Hold the button down with one hand and then you pull away from the shoulder with your other hand. If you loosen up one side, the other side will adjust with it. So tighten and loosen. The second adjustment is the different height positions for the shoulder straps. What you want is you want the straps to come up and over the baby's shoulder. So right now the baby's shoulder is probably gonna be somewhere here. Once they get taller and their shoulder reaches level two, you're gonna move the straps to level two. Once the baby gets taller and their shoulder reaches level three, you're gonna move the straps to level three. And finally, when, they've, when their shoulder has reached the highest position, you're gonna move it to the highest position. So remember, do not move the straps up until the child's shoulder reaches the next slot. When you are ready to move the straps up, you're gonna loosen the straps as much as possible. You're gonna turn the car seat around, and right on the back of the chair here, you're gonna see the four different height positions. And behind the car seat, you're gonna see the two shoulder straps connected to this metal clip. Disconnect the straps one at a time, pull it out from the front, and then you can feed it to the level you want. And the reason why you wanna do these one at a time is that way when you're reconnecting it, you make sure that they're both identical. You do not want the straps to be twisted or tangled. You want to make sure that the loop goes through the metal hook here and completely inside. And then you can do the same thing for the other side. Now that you know how to make these two adjustments, we can go ahead and put the baby in. So step one, we're going to loosen the straps all the way and move them out of the way. All right. Go ahead and grab your baby. Be sure to support the head and neck. You're gonna set them down in the car seat. Because the straps are loose, it's gonna make it easier to get the straps over the shoulder and then to buckle them in. The retainer clip slides together. The two metal clips will go over the baby's legs and into the red buckle here. Now that they're strapped in, we can begin to tighten the car seat. The first place you wanna tighten is over the baby's legs. You're gonna pull up on each side here. We wanna pull the slack away from the legs and up to the shoulder area. So as we're pulling up on the leg slack, we're gonna slide the retainer clip down temporarily. That's also gonna make sure there's no slack stuck in the middle. And now that we pulled all of our slack up to the baby's shoulder chest area, we can tighten. The way to know the straps are tight enough is with two fingers, you're gonna pinch on top of the baby's shoulder. If you can make a loop, it's still too loose. So we're gonna keep tightening. If you can't pinch anything, then you know it's tight enough. If you're worried it's too tight, see if your finger can fit. If your finger can fit under the harness where the baby's shoulder is, then that's good. Finally, now that everything is snug, we're gonna move the retainer clip back up. You wanna make sure that the retainer clip is level with the baby's armpits. And every time you put the baby in the car seat, you're gonna follow the same exact routine. When you're ready to get the baby out, go ahead and loosen the straps first. That's gonna make it easy to unbuckle the baby get the straps off of them. And when you're ready to put them back in, 
The straps are back at step one. They're loose and out of the way. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to support the channel. We'll see you next time.